Hi guys, welcome to iNetwork365 and in this video I will show you how to add additional domain controller using Windows Server 2019. Okay guys, uh, so from here I will show you how to configure uh, and install domain controller, additional domain controller. So before that let me show you the primary domain controller IP address. So you can see the server name is DC, the IP address is 192.168.80.200. Then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway 80.1 and the preferred DNS IP 80.200. So I hope that you watched my previous video. So I have done this configuration and I have installed primary domain controller. So here what we are going to do, we are going to install additional domain controller. So the main purpose of additional domain control is in case if the primary domain control is down so that if there is an additional domain controller, the client computers in the network, they can still access the shared folders and printers, whatever is shared through additional domain controller. So keep in mind, additional domain controller is always important even in a small business environment. So here I'm going to install the uh, additional domain controller, but before that, I will show you my primary domain controller. Okay, so this is my primary domain controller. Here is my uh, domain controller name. And in this server, I have all the computers and uh, user account created. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the new server, which I installed. So this is a new installed server. So here, number one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure the server name. So to configure the server name, I'll right click, I'll click on Explorer. Then I'll right click on this PC and go to properties. So here I'm going to change the server name, click change. And here I'm going to type ADC, additional domain controller. And from here I can add to the uh, domain uh, which I created in my primary domain controller. So the domain name is inetwork365.local. Okay, and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign the IP address. So I'm going to right click on my uh, network ethernet and I'll select open network and internet settings. I'll click on ethernet change adapter settings right click on ethernet and properties so on ip version 4 i will select use the following ip and here i'm going to enter the ip address so the ip address is 192.168.80.201 and the default gateway 192.168.80.1 so in preferred dns server i'm going to type 192.168 80.200 the IP address of the domain controller so here I'll click OK OK and now what I will do I will click on start type CMD Okay, I'll press Windows key R and here I will type CMD. So here I'm going to ping the domain controller. So you can see I'm getting reply from the domain controller. So I will close this. And here you can see that earlier I typed the server name and the domain name as well. So I'm going to click OK. So here it's asking the credential of the domain controller. So here I'm going to enter the credential. It is i network 365 backslash administrator and the password. So 
so it is now successfully this joint with the domain so i click ok ok click close and i will click restart now I'll type the username of the domain controller. Okay, so now what I have done, I have joined the server to the domain controller, but still I haven't installed the Active Directory database. So let me show you before I install the Active Directory database, if I go to the uh, my primary domain controller, if I click on uh, Start Server Manager Tools Active Directory Computers Users and Computers, if I click on Computers, here you can see the additional domain controller is added but after install but after installing additional domain controller uh, i mean like after promoting as an additional domain controller what will happen this computer account will be moved into domain controllers so you can see in domain controllers i have only my primary domain controllers computer name okay so i'll go back to additional domain controller So here in the server manager, I will click manage, add roles and features. Sele select server selection, server roles. And here I will select active directory domain services. Click add features, next, 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 and install. Okay, now Active Directory Domain Services is installed. So the next step, I will click on Promote this server to a domain controller. Okay, if you watch my previous video, what I have done, I have selected Add New Forest. So in this Add New Forest, I have configured the main domain controller. So in this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the first option, Add Domain Controller to the existing domain. In case if you don't find your domain name entered here, so you can type the domain name over here. And make sure you enter your domain credential. That means your primary domain controller, administrator credential. So that is going to be I network 365 administrator and the password. Okay, then click next. Okay, 
So I'm going to leave these settings default. And here I'm going to enter the password. So the reason why I entered this password in case if I'm restoring my active directory. So the password which I'm assigning here, I should type over there. So now I click next. Again, next. Okay, here there are two options. The first one is install from media. So if you can uh, copy your Active Directory database into a storage and you can plug in this server and you can install the Active Directory. So you can select install from media and you can browse the path. But what I'm going to do since they are on the same, same network, I'm going to select replicate from the domain controller. So this is my primary domain controller name dc.inetwork365.local. I'll click next. I leave the default settings here and again I'll click next, next, next. So in this part it will check if our configuration everything is correct. So in case if there is anything missing it will show over here in a red color icon. Okay, now you can see everything is uh, okay. Now you can see it is in green, so that means everything is okay. So now we'll click install. Okay, so the installation is completed. So now I log in again using domain credential. Okay, so now the installation is completed. So now we'll go to the tools and I'll open Active Directory Uses and Computers.
Okay, you can see my Active Directory is open. So I'll double click on my domain name and I'll click on users. So you can see uh, the user account which I create in the domain controller is replicated to this domain controller, additional domain controller. So same like that, if I create any user account here, it will be synchronized to the primary domain controller. So for testing purpose, what I will do, I will right click on here, select new and I'll select user. So I will type user2. Here I'll enter the password of the user account. Okay. So then our user account is created, user2. So now we'll go to the primary domain controller. Okay, so you can see there is only user one over here. So it, when I refresh, the user two is synchronized. Okay, so since I'm in this domain controller, I will show you one more thing. When I click computers, you can see there is only PC one computer name over here. But earlier there was ADC computer name, which was my additional domain controller. So after installing the Active Directory uh, service and after promoting it, you can see that additional domain controller is promoted as a domain controllers. So you can see here my primary domain controller name and my additional domain controller name as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move to my uh, additional domain controller. Now you can see uh, example, Okay, now in my additional domain controller, I will click tools and I'll open Active Directory Sites and Services. So here I will double click on, I will open sites, sites, then I will click on default site name, default first site name, then I'll click on servers and I'll click on ADC. Then I'll click on NTEADS. Then I'll click on NTDS settings. So now you can see here automatically generated. So this means example like assume that if your user account, if we didn't synchronize, example, if you create here a user account called user2 and if we didn't synchronize, you can right click on here and select replicate now. So whatever is created an additional do primary domain controller, will be synchronized here and same thing applies to the primary domain controller as well so here also if it didn't synchronize you can right click on this automatic automatically generated and select replicate now so if you receive this message that means it is successfully synchronized okay and before I end this video let me show you one more thing I will right click on the Ethernet select open net network and internet settings I click on Ethernet, change adapter settings. Okay. So I right click on this Ethernet and select properties, Internet Protocol version 4. And here you can see there is loopback IP address which was assigned automatically. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one to my additional domain controller IP address which is 201. So I'll click OK, OK and that's all. Okay guys. Uh, so that's all about this video and uh, please follow the same steps which I uh, did in this video uh, to configure additional domain controller. And I hope you guys enjoyed and like this video. So we'll see you later.